Here's the question. Is he going to help you in trivia? So, okay. I think I'm, he should, to be honest with you. That I'm, just means that you got to drink, but that's besides the point. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, let him help you. Let him help you. <laughs> The way he talking right now with the evil laugh. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the pod. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All questions. Here we go. Ah, that's, not, that's not the one. That's not, that's the, not one. the one. That's not the one. Damas y caballeros. Niños y niñas. Bienvenidos a Poca Pacatita Pobre del Mundo. Y tú dices, Poca la Plaza Pacpampa. Today we're going English only. English. Because we don't know how to speak Haitian. Because if we did, um, uh, we would be speaking, what's it called? Patois? That's pa what it uh, is? Creole. 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 Yes, Creole. My fault. They want to disrespect. Bolecawi. Eh, Mandaboule. Facts. Uh, Facts. Ma Masisi. Masisi. Facts, <laughs> nigga. You Masisi ass niggas out there. <laughs> huh? We out here. Okay. Well, that's the only thing we learned when we were in DR. You hear me? <laughs> that's all the Haitians. That's all the Haitians. That's all the Haitians over there talking. That's all, all the Haitians was like, you only need these words. And, and we were like, we know it's bad words. They can stop playing with me. Nah, I ain't going to lie. They be bugging. They, you, you, yo, you know what's the craziest thing? You ever had a friend that was like, yo, I'm going to teach you how to say something in my language? And then you do the wrong thing? Yeah. Always, always. <laughs> All right, so we here. We got a special guest. It's your boy Crispin. It's your boy Negro. You already know how it is. We got a special guest. Uh, I'm going to say new artist because he's, he's still coming up. He's a new artist. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention. You know what I mean? My man right here, AP. What's up, bro? AP, 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 AP. What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Hey, I'm feeling lovely, man, you know. God, God gave me another day to, you know, show my art, so I'm happy, you know. All right, cool. We, we normally start slow here. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I want to get into it. Why AP? Where does AP come from? So AP is derived from my middle name, Apollo. Mm, so my, Creed? Yeah. I mean, but like, in a sense, <laughs> idiot. I took it as like, you know, there's Apollo, the Greek god. Mm -hmm, like, you mm -hmm. know, he's the god of music. So I took that in relevance to myself. Okay, maybe... I might be a music of him up up there, so yeah. I, I fucks with it. AP. I fucks with it. AP, fucks with it. Uh, okay, we, we, like I said, we normally start slow here. You know what I mean? Where Where are you from, bro? Like, wh where does AP come from? Well, in the sense of background, <coughs> you know, I'm very diverse in a sense, but prima dominantly, I would say my Haitian culture. Influences majority of the things that I do as an artist. You get me? Why I say that is because, you know, ranging from the foods to the native tongue to also, not even that, but just in general how they go about things as opposed to how we go about things, that gave me two different out, like, looks at life as a kid in America. And on top of that, I got the other side of my family as well. That's a whole different, you know, so then I learned three different ways, and then that gave you AP. Nice, 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 nice. I like, nice. I like, I like, I like. Okay, qu question: Have you been to Haiti? Of course. Uh, did you spend a certain amount of time yeah, there? Well, was it just vacation? Did you move over there for a little bit, come back? Well, I've always went to go visit my family. As and like you know, I on both sides of that island, Haiti and DR, I got family on both. Okay. So I've been to both sides, you know. I've experienced culture there, like you could say, in the sense of from the perspective of a native. Mm -hmm. So I understand certain things. I mean, it's more for me to learn, but yeah, I've been there and it's I love it there. Okay, so <laughs> I'm guessing you were a little kid when you went like, a couple times in the summer, you know, just go chill. Mm -hmm. You know, when we kids, we do some dumb shit. Yes, sir. Always doing some stupid shit. What was that dumb shit that you did with your friends that to this day makes you laugh? Like, what the fuck we did that? <laughs> we need that one. We need, we need that, that one. That one story, that one story growing that up one that you like, yo, bro, story. we did X, Y, and Z, and I don't yo, know how we got away with my it. My mom beat my ass because I did this, that, that, some shit like that. Okay. Dog. In the sense of story wise, right? We talking about out of country or in country right now? Where, where, wherever you want. Okay. What's some something dumb that I've done? That my parents... Okay. So this one time, right? How old were you at this time? I 
was like 12, 13. Okay, this is good. This is saucy. Right? Give me more. So, boom. Okay. My parents tell me, like, yo, it's this bee's nest, you know. We getting the honey, whatever. We striking the honey, whatever. You can't go over there. Did they say that shit in English or they say that shit in Haitian? They told me in both ways. So uh, how, do, how does that sound in Haitian? How does that sound in Haitian? So in Creole, it's more so something like, yo, paka lot boa basque, like, okone again. Like, they said it that calmly? Yeah, calm, oh, okay, not okay. calm. Like, she said it calm. Okay, okay, okay. Then she told me in English to make sure that I understood what she was saying. Don't play right? with me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool, ma. You feel me? I ain't gonna go over there. So now I'm with my cousins. And you know your cousins. You This got cousin that- right here? Nah, not this cousin. Okay, okay. He the good guy? He the good guy? You ever got that one cousin yes, that I do. tell you can't do What's something up, Gingo? How you, you doing? just feel like you can't ignore him? Yeah. yeah. They was I, that I, cousin. I, so yeah. he was like, yo, bro, like, you won't go touch that. And like, I'm like, I'll go touch it right now. He's like, bro, if you touch the... Like, you're not going to go... I went, I smacked it, and nothing happened. And as I was walking away, this one me just, just so happened to say, I'm going to pop out. And he... Beat me in the back of my neck, and I was stuck like that for two months. Two months? Two months. Two months is wild as fuck. Two months with my neck just like this, stuck right here. And they gonna catch a nerve or <laughs> some shit? I don't like... know what he did, but he <laughs> fucked some up. Some was I, not the same. All I all I need to know is how you gonna explain this to your Caribbean Haitian mom <laughs> that you touched yeah. that shit. <laughs> explain. And me telling my mother, mm-hmm. it was more so on some terms of why are you doing what you're not supposed to be doing anyways. Like you get me, and I'm like. So then I'm like, I'm trying to explain to her that like, I mean, I knew I wasn't supposed to be there, but I was there. So like, what are we going to do now? Because my neck is stuck like this. Oh, oh, so what are we going to do oh, now? Oh, now it's my problem. Now, now, now it's your mom's problem. I mean, like, like you, you know mommy supposed to fix all the problems. Like, what? It's mommy, like, I'm, mind you, I'm 12, 13 around yeah, this time. Yeah, my mom was not playing that game. Yeah, she ain't going to fuck. She was not playing was that not one. having it. She like, okay, you got bit, so that's your problem. Like, you for me? You're going to fix that now. And then now I got to figure out how to, like, you know, daily basis, you know, left, right, up, down. So, you feel me? But this nigga, yeah. I heard, nigga, I heard with a controller and shit. Let's yeah. up, up that. Doing, hey, doing all the codes for GTA and shit. Hey, but crack, my crack, controller crack, worked, crack. though. My controller worked now, though. My controller worked now, though. <laughs> yeah, I told you not to go over there, bro. She definitely did. She told you not to go over there. But that's part of growing up, you feel me? You learn a lot of stuff from, you know, the imperfections and, and humans. Like, you feel me? Like, Naturally, we just want to be curious and we want to go. For me, I mean, I think you're, you're not, you're not gonna go. Is, you're not gonna go smack some bees, though, man. Come on. Bro. I mean, oh, <laughs> I think about it. If you never experience fire, no, 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 no. Oh, if nah. you never experience fire, I know fire like, burns, bro. But what if you didn't know that though? How the fuck I didn't know that? I seen that shit burn something. <laughs> now, nah, hit me out. I get where you. I get where you go. I, I know what you're saying. I, I, what you're saying. I know what you're saying, right? But there's just some things that I don't got to find out. That's, That's good. good. I'm example. Cool. Example. <laughs> I know that if I go bother some sort of bull in the middle of a country road, that motherfucker's probably going to come after me. Do I really got to go find out, though, that? No. I, I, I don't got to go that. find out. I'm not playing with that. I'm not playing with that. Bull, though. Huh? That's a bull. Like, you smacked the whole beehive. You smacked the beehive. What do you think? Okay. You're gonna lucky like, one bee came out. Hey, they, they, they were going to be like, yo, yo, AP, you still my guy, even though you just fucked up my you house, but you still my guy. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to sting you. Like, you got lucky. It was just one. In my defense? Yeah, what? In my defense? Mm-hmm. That bee's nest was small. So, like, in my head, Man, I'm already thinking... get the f- Like, bro, I'm a whole human. I'm a... Ooh, yeah, you big. To them? Yeah. You know how we look to them? Yeah, they giant. Give so, them like, why are you popping out right now? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, but well, they told you. Because they defended. Yeah, they, they, yeah. t- they told you why they popped out. They definitely. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you telling niggas at war that they see a tank and they're not supposed to shoot a missile to that nigga. Yeah, we shooting a missile to that nigga. Mm-hmm. A couple of us might go, but that nigga going too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, that's facts. So, you know, I know... <laughs> Imagine you would have been allergic to bees. Ooh. Tough. Had Tough. I been allergic to bees? Tough. Yeah. That would have been a whole different thing. I don't think I would and then, have and then, been in that And then who's the, big, who's the bigger person than that? Who's the, big who's the, person the bigger person? animal in that, in that situation? Because you, you're allergic now. If I sting you, you might die, nigga. I ain't nigga. gonna lie. <laughs> it's a rap. The it's bee, raps. The bee in natural senses will be the bigger animal, but like... It's AP though, you know I'm resilient. So, oh, 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 yeah, he said, nigga, fuck. Now, now, now we're running with the Apollo story. Now we're running with the Apollo story. Going back to the god, the god of music. I'm gonna have to show him some AP here. You feel me? I gotta let the bees know. What time is it? What time? No, we're still early. We're still early. Ten, we're ten. Okay, we're ten. We're ten. We're ten. We're ten. Okay. Um. So you, you, other than fighting with bees, right? And you got your name from the. The Greek music god, right? Greek music god? Yes, sir. Apollo. I mean, 
why why did you start making music, bro? How how, how did that start? Well, in the sense of me making music, so at first it was more so like, you know, I did it for fun. You know, my friends would be <laughs> rapping and stuff. And I would always try to like do it, but like I couldn't do it. And then I was an athlete at a certain point. And at that point I was an athlete. It was like my What's fo- sport? football track. Okay. You know, I was well versed. I was like, you know, my thing as a kid was being versatile. So like I wanted to do all the sports. So, you know, I'm trying sports and stuff. And, you know, as an athlete, you got friends and friends have different talents. So, you know, they rapping and stuff, they doing stuff. And I'm trying to like, like be with them and do that. Keep but up. I, yeah, I couldn't keep up. And then boom, out of nowhere, it comes to time where I'm supposed to, I'm going to college and my FAFSA, something was wrong with my FAFSA, so I couldn't oh, leave. Oh, FAFSA. Yeah, Fuck FAFSA. So I couldn't leave. And as I couldn't leave, boom, <coughs> I'm like, okay, what am I good at? And come to find out, whole time, the father had it for me to be good with added music. Because, you know, out of nowhere, music start coming to me a certain way. So then I'm like, all right, I understand music to this degree. What other degrees can I understand it to? And mm. boom. Started making music from there. I made the first song. I wasn't confident about it. You know, I let I let a lot of people hear it before I even went to promoting it in the sense of releasing it. Mm-hmm. And then, But it was more so of a me thing. And then after that, now we got that song out. It's what can I do now? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Well, let's talk, let's talk about the song that you didn't release, right? Like, mm-hmm. why not release it? Two, what were you not confident about it? And then what drives you to them? Be like, all right, cool. I'm going to do another one that I could release. Okay. So, the f- okay, I want to answer the second question first. Okay. The second question is, why wouldn't I release it? Was because, okay, in our day and age, it's a specific type of music that everybody is raving about. You get me? So, in that sense being said, my particular type of music might not be what fits the audience. You get me? Because how do I know? How would, okay, how would someone know this is what is supposed to be here? You don't. But with that being said, all the greats weren't great because they didn't put foot in the door. You get me? They said, I'm going to put the foot in the door and I'm going to let this do what it does and whatever happens from there happens. So, okay, I came to that consensus myself and I finally put myself through the door. Now it's what else can I do? You get me? Okay. The sec, the third question is, can you repeat the third question? You said, you said that, what do I want to do? No, then what drove you to, to then release music? Okay, so then what then drove me to release music was the fact that, okay, one day, um, I was at a studio session or whatever, and there was somebody recording. And this person, you know, they, they did everything they had to do, whatever. And they're like, yo, bro, can I ask you a question? They're like... Not even what makes you make music, but what even makes you think in the way that you think. And I was like, I had to sit there and think about it. Like, what makes me think how I'm thinking? Because I never really sat there and think about that. <laughs> okay. And I came to find out what makes me think how I'm thinking is more so not how something affects something, but how can something create something. Mm. Explain that. So what I mean <clears throat> by that is like, think about this, right? You ever have a mindset or a thought in your head that tells you, I should be doing this as opposed to you doing this. If you get what I mean? I'm, I think I'm following. So in that sense, I took that same aspect into music and said, what is things, what are things that people want to hear or people feel that haven't been said? And there's a lot of things that people feel that haven't been said in terms of music. Why? Because it is a specific artist that's targeting those areas. So then I sat there to think that to myself, and I put myself in the in the seat of the viewer, and from there that led me to every answer to how I was gonna drop the music. Oh, okay, the audience will feel this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm gonna drop that. Or oh, maybe they're gonna be apathetic or empathetic towards this. Let me let me try this, and boom. So that brought us to that field of how we gonna drop the music. So in other words, you were creating more of like a structure how you were gonna cre- keep on creating your art. Sir. Okay. So within that within that structure of creating that, where does AP fall, right? Because you did say a lot about, okay, this is how they're going to feel, so then we're going to create this, right? But where does AP fall within the creation itself? So, well, AP, okay, what even makes AP AP is the simple fact that 
creativity is derived in us in different ways. Your creativity, my creativity, and his creativity are three different creativities. But at, this, <laughs> at the end of the day, we may come to the same consensus, but in three different ways. So with that being said, what do I have to offer in the sense of musically to the people and that they can feel, that I feel, that's similar? And once I figured that out, that led me to all the songs that I've made. You get me? I have songs that haven't come out yet where it's like, if you are if you lack motivation, it will give you motivation. I have songs as well that also pertain to people that are more so derived on the field of, okay, I'm motivated already. I want to get to this point. I have songs where it's like, if you're more so on a romance standpoint, what you probably would be thinking or what are the things that you want to say that you can't say. So you get what I'm saying? It's more so on that. I fill out what the audience wants. And from that, that gives me the basis to how I should create. Okay. I like that. I like that. I like okay. that. Fuck with it. All right. So with that being said, let's get straight to it. All right. Let's get this trivia going. All right. <clears throat> let's get this trivia going. This All trivia- right. So this is how the game go. Yes, sir. This is how the game go. See, my man's negro got a card. He going to read it. You got to answer. I'm ready. If you answer it correctly, you have a point. If you answer it incorrectly, shot. you take a shot. It's not only you. We all lose. The we whole all gang lose. loses. Whole gang. All it's right, all so like, if you f- if you got incorrect, we all drinking. All right, to be fair, mm. we all got to take a shot right now. No. no you bugging. You bugging. We can't do that? No, no, right now. Not right now. Trust me. Trust me. No. Trust, believe. No, trust and believe. Trust and believe. No. Oh, I, see, I, I trust him because the way <laughs> he's saying trust that. Trust and believe. You got three lives. You got three you lives. You got three this, lives. This is, how, this is how the podcast, this is your podcast lives. Yeah, your podcast lives. The moment lives. you drink that third drink, the podcast is the over. The podcast is over. Okay. Done. All right. All right. So, over. So we need you to get these right because we ain't so trying we to drink. Keep going. <laughs> all, right, First of all. all right. So let's lock in then. All, all right. right. So hey, locked in. Here we right. go. Right. Oh, this is easy. This is easy. This is easy. We're good. Is it easy? Who sang the song from the movie Titanic? Oh my goodness. My heart will go on. Oh my goodness. Oh. The fact that you're doing that is oh, scary. Oh sweet me. baby. No, wait, that's not fair. That's not fair. Hey. What do you mean? No, hey, wait, hold up. Give me a second. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you options. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out here. A. Amy Winehouse, oh my God. B, Whitney Houston, C, Celine Dion. And what's the song name? Oh my God, Jesus the Titanic Christ. song. The Titanic song. My heart will go on. All right, can you like say like a lyric? No, no oh lyric. Oh my God, Jesus okay. Christ! Okay. okay, Lord help Automatic, me. Automatic. I'm taking out A because A D. It gotta be B or C. B or C. Okay, keep on going. You said Celine Dion or Whitney Houston. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the name of the song is. My heart will go on. My heart will go on. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Yo, he's I want to say B. He's stressed. Okay, I want to say Whitney, but. <laughs> he's stressing. He's, he's stressing. stressing. <laughs> he's stressing. <laughs> but no. All right. Go right ahead. So go right I ahead. I think I'm going to go with Celine Dion. Celine Dion? And is Celine Dion your final answer? That's all I got to know. That's my final answer. Celine Dion, final answer. Yes, sir. Locked in. Locked in. And that answer is? Correct. 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 Yeah. Get another one. Get another Yo, one. The fact that he was thinking he about was it. thinking about that shit. I was twice. like, oh, was no. Like, but in my defense, I've only seen Titanic twice. That's one of the best I, movies in the world. What are you saying? Nah, what are you I saying? don't care if you saw it twice. That's just like an automatic, though. Like I've seen it twice, though. The, the I've first seen that time. shit a hundred times. That's one of my favorite it's a, movies. Nah, it's a time. fire movie. For Whoa. the two times that I've seen it? All right, now we drink it for sure, for sure. Prepare, no, prepare, prepare, prepare. No, you got to say it first. He's not going to get this. Oh, my God. What is the term used <laughs> to mm. designate when notes are not played very quiet? A, allegro. B, pianism. No, pianismo. C, forte. Forte. Is C, forte your final answer? That's my answer. Final Locked answer. in. Locked in? Locked in. Let's serve the shots. Damn. B. Pianissimo. 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 That don't even sound like that. I know that sounds that sounds right. totally you off. You know what that sounds yeah. like? Okay, yeah. if you could like characterize, like characteristically place Absolutely. what something would mean. You know that thing where you go like, you pray from the first key to the last key. Yeah, that's what I feel like that would be. That's what I thought too. That's what I thought. But when I saw it in both, I'm like, really? That's the answer? Like. <laughs> I'm sorry, fellas. You feel me? It's not my fault. You feel me? What's the record again? Ten, right? Nobody has ten questions? Cards. Nobody has passed ten you questions. Two cards. You had you two. Be ten cards with your desk. Too. 
Yeah. All your, all we your include we include wrong. the ones you get wrong too. Yo. Yo, blessings, blessings. Blessings to your music, my boy. Hey, blessings to, to, to you guys as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, for the love of Jesus. Ah. Wow. Hey P, my man. How many songs you got recorded, bro? Respectfully. Give me an estimate. I have over a thousand songs recorded. All right, Chris Brown, the fuck? <laughs> but, <laughs> the fuck? The only reason for that is be is like, I feel like in order to know what works, you have to do trial and error. Agreed. Okay, 100%. You, know I mean? you will never know how many times it takes you to get successful. So with that being said, in the sense of music, you will never know how many songs it takes you to get that song. Now, here's my question about those thousand songs, right? Like, how many of them are actually out there? Because you can record them, right? But are you publishing them? Okay. With the out there situation, the first problem that I had, which was me releasing my songs because I didn't think I was good enough, that's the only reason those songs aren't out now, but they're all scheduled to release. And I'm going to like productively release those songs and get them out with visuals and everything. So that's what I'm working on right now. You get me? So it's more so which song do I selectively choose to come out? Um, do you think you should just put them out? Yeah, I mean, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. This and this is this is also the non-artist guy in this in this crew right now. To be honest with you, right? I'm really big on just putting shit out, right, and letting people decide whether they're good or not, right? Because I think sometimes as as creators, we are very uh, we criticize a lot our work because we're the ones who created. We see the imperfections in them <laughs> because we're the ones who made it, right? But sometimes the public who's seeing it is like, oh my god, this is amazing. This is oh, I love this. This is dope. This is fire. So I think that sometimes we have to kind of take that risk of just throwing it out there and just kind of letting the people decide whether they like it or not. Well, um, with that, you're right. So before, I didn't understand it from that standpoint in the sense of, okay, I'm the one releasing this, so as the one releasing this, I have to make sure that it's perfect. But then again, what can you truly say is perfect? Nothing, Nothing is perfect. Exactly my point. So with that being said... You, the only way to understand if it was even remotely close to being perfect is to release it. So Thanks. that's up to the audience and your fans to tell you their definition of what's perfect in your song. You well, get me? I'm going I'm to I'm tell you something real quick, my boy. You said before that um, you were constructing the way you, you recorded music, you released music, um, on the feelings of what what it would make the, the audience feel. The impact that the song would have. Right. Um, you have a thousand songs. I don't know if all of them are finished. I know some of them are just probably like courage to chat in your head. You just recorded that. That's that's a song, but it's not finished. You just have it there. I would say whatever's finished, I would release like two singles, an EP with those two singles in there, four songs. Boom. People, because I went into your Apple Music, mm -hmm. and the only thing I saw was the new release. Mm -hmm. If that song is good, I want more. Where's the more, though? See what I'm saying? Well, I've taken that into consideration in the sense of, okay, what if this song may actually be what, you know, like actually good? So, okay, with that being said in my head, I put precautions into that, and I've released other songs, but they're scheduled in the sense of two songs here, two songs there, two songs there, so then my catalog is building up steadily. Okay. And these songs are just equally as good as that song. Okay. You get me? But now it's more so visuals. Right now, I'm focusing on the visuals for those videos, for those songs. Mm -hmm. But all those songs are scheduled to come out because I already gave them the taste that they needed to say, okay, this is who, who AP is, so now what else can I expand on? You get me? And, you know, only time would tell. Have you, have you given snippets of that song, of the other songs? Not to put it out, but, you know, you're at the studio, play it. Rap a little bit of it, put a sure. video up, something like that. Have you done that uh, yet on the stories or anything? Like well, that? as of late, um, quite frankly, two days ago, um, I had a song that I was working on in the studio, and, you know, it was one of the major songs that I wanted to get out for the people. And I, I, I released a couple teasers for it, and, you know, I got feedback on it. But my main focus right now is more so, like you said, getting those songs out because, again, I have a thousand songs in my catalog. Which one? There's no way I'm going to only drop one song out of a thousand songs. 
You get me? So now I have to give the fans what they want and give them more songs so that, you know, they can tell me more so what they want to hear from me. You get me? I so it's like, a, it's like on the research on the research part, right? So you, you start getting uh, feedback and kind of gives you a structure as to like, okay, the fan base is like more geared towards this type of music and this type mm -hmm. of sound. All right. Now, <clears throat> top three. Mm, top five. We do five. We do, oh, we do five. I'm sorry. We're going, you give me top, top five. five. Um, Honestly, what's, your favorite, you what's your favorite? What's your favorite genre? Top five. Genre? No, 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 no. no. What's, what's your, your favorite, favorite genre? genre? Okay. My favorite genre, respectfully, would be R and B. All right, cool. top. Beautiful. Ooh, that's good. This is good. We, this we is stole good. this game from the R and B Money Podcast. Shout out Tank and Jay Valentine. Just keep doing your thing. All right, so I need you to give me the top five R and B artists of all times. For you, for you, for you, for you. Your top five. Your top five of all times. I mean, we'll probably argue it, but that, you know, that's tough. That's tough. This is top five. It's easy. It's just got to name. Can't argue his top five. That's just top you can't. Five. Nah, but I like to argue. Sure, why not? Okay. Jesus Off Christ. rip. I Off don't rip. Know. I don't. Okay. And I want you to give it to me in order too. Top three or top five? Top, top five. five. Top five. 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 I was gonna say top three because for me, I'm when I say R and B, I only really think of three people. Mm -hmm. But top five, mm. that's a three question. people, nigga. No, why oh, three people? Jesus Christ no, of the Lord. Why three people is because Mike, 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 Mike. Into the mic, into the mic. Okay, why three people? You gotta also remember, what did that specific person bring into the culture of that specific genre of music? Okay, okay. You get me? I like where you're going. I just don't. I'm just don't know. I don't, know, I don't with know, your know how three people are gonna rip, do this. Shit. Off rip three. Off rip. The first one. Mm. That's your number one. I ha I ha no. I don't know if this is my number one. I need no, no, no. no, no I, need, I need number, number one. one. I need we your need number. number one. I need one. I need two, and then I need three. Okay, all right. Or you could no, do it backwards. Do it backwards. Give me three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay. I'm gonna say Usher. Mm -hmm. Usher number three. Mm -hmm. Usher okay, number okay, three. okay, okay, okay. Okay, respectful. Because respectfully, okay. Usher. You know, he stamped music how he did, and you know, he did what he did. Cool. And then we could take that a step. Gotta let it burn. Facts. Yes, sir. Definitely and let it burn. You could take that a step further. Another R and B artist. I don't know if he's considered to me he's a R and B artist, but I don't know if y'all consider him R and B artist. Mm. I would say Brent Fires. Who? who? Brent? I don't I don't know who that is. I don't know. You don't know Brent? No, I don't, I don't know. know Brent. You know Brent? You don't know Brent Fires? Brent When he said he trashed. That's <laughs> all I'm gonna Yo, Cuzzle said he trashed. Who, who so I'm this? going with Cuzzle. Who is this? Who is this explain? Okay, Brent Fires is an artist. He's what are you saying? He sings. What are you saying? He made What's songs wrong? with Meek Mill. He made he made songs with everybody. I have never heard of his name. I'm Brent? When did he come I out? I've never heard when of him. I out? bet you go on Google right now, you look up Brent Fires. your top three searches, like, your top three searches will be a song that you probably heard. All right, cool. Like, songs-wise. We're going to cut My number one, mm. and I'm not saying number one in the sense of all time, because my number one of all time is, like, a disclosed thing, because that's kind of like an iffy topic with people with music. But I would Who? say- Oh, R. Kelly. Sure. R. Kelly. Yeah, Keep on going. For R. Kelly, yes, but arguably- but if we not talking R. Kelly, I'm. I don't care. I don't care what I'm people think. Chris they, could, they could kill us in the comment. That's actually I like that. So go right I'm ahead. I'm supposed to say Chris Brown. Chris and Brown why is, I say Chris Brown? Chris Brown is goaded. What yeah. kind of song have you heard Chris Brown not make? Chris Brown is the goat. Tell me a song that you heard. Chris all right. Brown. So here's my argument. Okay. Mm. Here's my argument. Mm. Talk to me. And first of all, nobody know Brett. That nigga gotta go. I don't. I don't. That's I don't. Number one. I don't know too much that about. I don't know go. too much about R and B. Comment section. How many of y'all know Brett? Yeah. I know y'all know Brett. Yeah. Somebody help him out here with Brett. Please. Please. All right. Where do you classify then names like Alicia Keys? Mm. Where do you put um, Omarion okay. Tank? Omarion okay. Tank. Hold on, tama, 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 tama. Okay. Okay. Let's, where let's do you where, where do you put? Uh, uh, Keisha Cole. Keisha, ooh, Keisha Cole. Um, um what's what's uh uh Whitney? Whitney. Where do you put Whitney? At? MJ. MJ. Hold on, tama, 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 tama. I'm just gonna drop names that I know. Beyonce, Rihanna. Um, well, hold on, hold on. Where do you put um Mary J. No, uh, no. Come on, um, man. Hey. Never, no. The one that went Jay. No, your holiday is not up there, but nah, it's my guy. He made he one good. song. He but made two. Good two, songs. two, two. Better than suffocate. So only two. That's it. Man, no. <laughs> Look, why didn't list those people for two reasons? Mm. Respectfully, at least he's my bitch. By the he way, he said no, respectfully. No, no. There's <laughs> nothing respectful about the coming of the month. No, no, respectfully. I swear to God, nothing respectful <laughs> no, no, about the coming of the month. Everything respectful. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. He said those respectfully. People, those people. Y'all old. I'm, 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 okay, 
So as a, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yo, I was like, I was like, around when your niggas was dropping like, music. Yo, Chris Brown to go. Usher is in there. I'm to all of them. But why I list my list? How I list? I listed it in the terms of from my age group. Okay. Because from what I say, yeah. Oh, <laughs> think about it, right? I'm somebody that was born in the 2000s era, so those are the people I'm growing up hearing. I mean, I've heard Whitney Houston and all that, all them people. Which, if you ask me in the sense of all time... That's what we said, the top No, nah, no, no. But I said in the terms of right now. Why? Because those are the people right now that have the hold in music. If you look, go look at somebody that's like playlist right now, it's no way you don't find a Chris Brown song. It's no way you don't find a Brett Fire song. It's no I'm, way not, I'm not arguing Chris Brown. Chris Brown my favorite artist all time. You I'm not me? arguing Chris nah, Brown. No, I'm saying. But, okay. <laughs> but, I think he's arguing. What's it called? Fred? Who the fuck is that? Who? Oh, Brett Fires? Who, who no, that? But I, general, I just named that guy Fred. Okay, generally Fred. speaking, if uh, we talking specifically all time, like yeah. going off that by itself, of course I'm going to put Whitney Houston in my list. I ain't going to lie. Whitney Houston, Alicia Keys, and Chris Brown for me. Chris Brown because of the simple fact that he's in our my age group doing what he's doing, and he was with yeah, the other not in your age group, my He bit, no, I'm saying, no, in the sense. <laughs> no, 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 I get what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Like, right, right, now, like right now, if we go on Chris Brown's most recent song, it's probably a good song. Oh, no, yeah, me? yeah, he dropped, he dropped that 11-11 album. Go see yeah, that. Like, go go, go, go listen to that. Chris Brown hopped out. Okay, man. He made Privacy and all that. He made he made a lot of songs. It's a lot of songs we listen to that's Chris Brown's song. Ain't nobody know all Chris Brown's songs. Not even his all his fans like me. I don't this even know nigga, this nigga be dropping thirty song albums. Yeah, yeah, his nigga album be bugging. a little too wild for he me bugging, though. He bugging, he bugging. Nah, but you gotta also understand from the perspective of an artist. No. Yeah. No. Nah, he just got a whole bunch of songs no. that he needs to right? put out. No, okay. no, okay. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you Chris Brown's issue. Okay. Chris Brown got so many songs saved up okay. that he's like, yo, out. I could put out forty. It doesn't really matter because I still have another three thousand that I haven't put out. Okay. That's why he could do that. Let but the reality you. is, but the reality is, he is could that drop he three albums in a, in okay. a year. He should, and that's it. he should, yo, listen to me, hear me Bring out, it, okay. and listen to me. And I don't know who his team is or how much control his, his team, team nigga. exactly, right? <laughs> yo, yo, that nigga. Chris Brown is that yo, nigga. Chris yo, Chris Breezy. Yo, yo, you want to drop thirty? What the fuck this nigga saying? You want to drop thirty? Let's do. Yo, let's drop. Let's drop ten in January, right? Let's drop another ten in June, and let's drop another ten in November. Look, how, look how banging that looks. He'll be, he'll be all Come over on. the place. Yeah, yeah. Come on, this, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way that he won't be charting all year long. It, all year long. You see where I'm getting at? Okay. But that's actually. also me who not is on the team, right? I don't. Maybe I don't Chris got the Brown experience about fuck. the shit. He, I know Brown. he don't give a fuck, but I give a fuck because then I gotta listen to thirty songs straight. I and- don't listen to thirty songs. <laughs> Like <laughs> you're my man's and everything. You're my nigga. Trust me. You, I'm, I am your fan, bro. One hundred percent. But I listen when to I, 30. when I when I listen to your albums that are thirty songs long. I play that shit through. If the beginning don't catch me, I'm skipping. It's thirty niggas. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not giving time. So Keep going. From the perspective of Chris mm. Brown, mm. like he probably seen it from a standpoint that we're not probably looking at. Oh, for like, sure. For you sure. You gotta think about it, right? From his perspective, he's the artist making the song, so he like. I got 30 songs on here. These 30 songs are hard. So all yeah. 30, for him, when he hear the all 30, it's like, okay, boom. This me, this me, this me, this me. From us as the art, uh, as the as consumer, the consumer we're going to see it a different way. We're going to be like, okay, I like this song, but I don't like this song because of this reason. But he gave you 30 songs to choose. So out of 30 songs, majority of the time, you're going to pick like a good five to six, seven, eight songs that you really vibe with. But that was the intended goal in the first place. You drop 10 songs, you give them less opportunity to... You feel me? Uh, nah. Nah, that nah, first, okay. cr- that first think, Chris Brown th- album is good, top to Listen bottom. Listen to what you said. The first Chris Brown album. The second one, top to bottom. Okay, Third, top one. to bottom. EPs, okay. top to bottom. Top Once he started 30 something, I'm like, all right, nigga. I'm not. Okay. I'm not doing this. Okay, <laughs> doing Think this about with this. you. How many albums Chris Brown got right now in general? He got like ten. Okay, you got ten albums. Mm. Ten albums. He could easily have twenty. Easily, he could Through easily have like thirteen. Aspect. How much time you think it took him to make those ten albums? A like whole bunch of a whole bunch of time. You feel me? He been he been he, but he been an artist since he was sixteen. Okay, that's true. So think about this. Which all he all he does is make music. So for music, for music itself, he has all the time in the world. Exactly my point. With somebody like that, okay, prime example, I got a thousand songs, right? And mm. mind you, I only started recording like a year and a half ago, right? And I have a thousand songs, and this is me that's dedicated to my music. 
Think about somebody like Chris Brown with the same dedi- level of dedication or more that is going at it every other day or every day. We don't know Chris Brown's schedule. You don't know how many songs he got. He got more than a thousand songs. He got to have minimum like like 4,000 songs minimum. Has to. So 30 songs for him and 30 songs for me would be two different things. We understand that. But if you're dropping one album in the whole year, might as well just split it into three. You're right. But Do the same photo shoot, three different outfits, and just split the whole shit. But the, that's we it. Never ask the question why Chris Brown do it like that. We never because he don't want to do the, all the other shit. He don't like sitting in nah, cameras right. no more. He nah, don't like right. doing that shit because people right. people are always talking shit about him. They <laughs> they hate this man so much. Yeah. It's incredible. He made one mistake and they. F- I mean, I I like the guy. That's my man. I like the guy. Did I, I like what he did? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. But that had nothing to do with me. That had nothing to do with me, bro. I'm not this doing is, that. I've always said this. I've always said this. I'm not bro. doing that. This I've always said. If the two people who are in their issue don't got issues with each other, there's no reason for us to have Them issues. Them niggas are chilling. Okay. That's, it's, it's that simple. I got a question for you two. Go ahead. How do y'all feel towards his situation? Do y'all I, feel like... He fucked like, up. Like, he did fuck up, but at the end of the day, you can't really judge him as a person off that incident, I've right? never... Well, I mean, here's the thing with artists, right? And this is like I was—I forgot who I was talking to. This uh, uh, you're an example. No, I'm not. Nigga. Who, I'm I was talking honest. to somebody about this, right? I'm not your dad. That oh no, actually, I watched this on. Uh, I was watching uh, Tyler's and Chidi's uh, podcast with uh, Frank Roth, um, and they were saying that artists and creators give so much to the people that people feel like they know them. You see what I'm getting at? Like you, you you show so much of your life to them that they feel like, yo, I know this guy. I've seen this guy grow up since he's 16, right? So you almost feel like you have a like a boy connection with him. But the reality is, is that we don't know him. We don't chill with him and on a he, daily basis. He we, we definitely not, doesn't know we, us. We, we, ain't, we ain't texting him. Like, sure, we're well, on the phone of him, right? So I think sometimes when fans have that feeling of that connection with the artist, right, when they do anything, it's personal. Because you feel like you've consumed so much of this person's life. But the reality is, is that that person on the other side doesn't know who you are, right? And if you are part of the few people who have met him, just because I met you and shook your hand one day doesn't mean I know you either, right? So I think there's a certain level of um, a separation Imposter that, syndrome that, again. That, that goes in between like the fan and the creator. But the fan always going to feel like they have a connection because that's a creator's job to do, right? Give so much to the fan that they become part of a unit. They become part of a culture. That, though. It became that in the era of social media and, and, and the internet. Because before, nobody knew a lick of shit from none of the artists other than he's dropping a song. Mm, yeah, but you, but you, but you know, media's always been around, right? I think it's at a different I, but, level now. No, no, no. But you gotta understand, like when, when the media used to drop all the all that was asked, like we we came to know that Michael Jackson's dad used to beat the fuck out of these niggas because Oprah apparently was like, "Oh, how was your father?" Blah, 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 blah. Michael Jackson was like, "That nigga was tough. That nigga was crazy." And then everybody's like, "Oh, the Michael Jackson's father was odd." All the news, and then, but if that would have happened. And like if Michael Jackson would have started making music in 2000, when Facebook, when uh, MySpace came out in 2007, and the iPhone was out, and all this shit was out, and his father was doing that, that that Jackson Five shit would have never done shit. That would have been canceled. That's true. That would have been canceled true. because back then he's like, oh, it's the Jackson Five. Oh my God, the Jackson Five. Grown women were in love with a five year old. Well, not a five. He was like ten. A ten year old. Because of the stigma, not not the stigma, the the the. They didn't know nothing about him. It was it was interesting. What? what how is he? Is he really like this in real life? Like it's the same shit. Like people used to get that. Like when we look at superheroes, we look at the, we don't know these niggas. For, that's why they wear a mask. You you see Superman walking around? That's Clark Kent. Nobody gives a fuck. Once that nigga starts flying, oh my god, it's Superman. But that nigga as Clark Kent does hella mistakes. Cause he's just walking as a fucking regular human, even though he's not. But you know, that's and that was the problem that started once social media got into it. Once social media got into the shit, every little bad cranny that an artist, a painter, an actor, a father, a mother, an auntie, an uncle, everything will come out. And if you notice, everything that's in the news right now, right now, majority, if not absolutely everything, is negativity. Everything, but like, well, we had the conversation before. I mean, that, that's what gets the clicks. You gotta also remember though, negative negativity and positivity, in this sense of somebody outlooking it, 
like me out looking negativity and positivity, I can see it two ways. You get me? As supposed to be me being in the seat of positivity and negativity. You know, I'm going to see it one way. You're going to always see yourself in a positive light. You know I mean? Because it's yourself. But from somebody else seeing it, they're going to look at it two ways. And their two ways is going to be completely different from your two 100%. ways. 100%. You feel me? But what I'm saying, okay, you know who Mr. Mr. Beast is? Mr. Beast? Yeah. That nigga opened wells in, in Africa. One of the countries in Africa. He opened, he opened like 100 wells. So they have clean water. Obviously... Not all of Africa does not have clean water because there's parts in Africa that have money, they're wealthy, they have clean water, obviously. But there's then there's these little places that don't have clean water. And he's like, I'm not doing this because I see them hungry. I just know that the kids, if they keep drinking this water, they're not going to be healthy. They're not going to grow up to healthy adults. So I'm just putting clean water here. I'm recording it because if I don't record it, I don't make money off this video to do it again. Literally what or he to, said. Or, or to do the next mission. Exactly. Literally what he said. They were destroying him. Oh, you doing this to get clicks? Oh, you doing... And then he, everybody everybody that was recording, like, talking about that situation was a black person, and they were saying, yeah, all of you guys are mad at him for putting all this water, but what the, what the fuck are you doing? You're not doing shit. He's making the money and putting the money over there. Is he putting all the money? Who gives a shit? At the end of the day, I feel like that's a 50-50, though. Like, if you're helping people that can't really help themselves, you're going to have a side that agrees with you and a side that don't agree with you. Why? Because the side that agree with you, okay, I see that he's doing this, this, and this, or she's doing this, and this. But then the side that don't agree with you is going to always be on the sense of he doing this or she's doing this for this reason. When in actuality, you probably not even doing that for the reason. You just want to help the people. Well, here's my thing with that, right? And I think people need to have a understanding of this, right? Like, and I'm and I'm trying to be like non biases, right? Let's say like I don't like Mr. B. Let's say I, you know what I mean. He's you're doing hate, it. You're a Mr. B hater. Let's, let's say I, let's say I'm a hater, right? Let's say I'm a hater. But and this is for the for the Mr. B haters, right? Like he's doing it, right? And let's say that he is doing it for the clicks, right? He's still doing it though. He's still he doing is still it. accomplishing something that no one else is going to do. What got me? He is still doing something that is going to help a bunch of people. Mm. He is still doing something that is going to have a positive impact on a community that other people who have more money than him haven't done the non-camera action to go there and help. Right? So, Facts. what am I going to say? You know what? You want to come here and get some clicks and you're going to let all my people have clean water? And be a health, healthier community. Put electricity on, on some of the shit. My so boy, come get all the clicks you want. On some real shit. Yeah, come not? get all get the clicks all. you want. Why not? Get, get them all. all. Because get at it? the end of the day, I'm going to be honest with you. That video, within two years, no more clicks. He went, he went, he did three videos over there. He put electricity on, on like three villages that didn't have electricity. For the kids to go to school and all the villages to have electricity with solar panels. So nobody has to pay anything. The solar panels, the sun hits it, you Boom. got electricity, Right. He gave bikes to all the kids. Because you know when you... And like in our countries... You gotta walk. Some, some schools are like... In fucking... Three miles away. Two, hella fucking far. Like... And kids have to walk. They're going... Three kids... Like the three kids from this little part of the town... We all gonna walk... Two miles that way. If we all got bikes... We ain't walking. It's easier. He literally took bikes over there... And gave it to them niggas. But, but that... But this is what I'm saying. Like... When Chris Brown did that shit... He was in the... Like he was... He and Rihanna were like... Tit top... The two best new up and coming artists, bro. They were gonna take over the world, bro. It was very a toxic relationship. Bro. That should happen after the Grammys too, bro. Go okay, ahead. I got a good question, right? So, in the sense of Chris Brown and Rihanna, mm. do you not think that uh, toxicity itself had a big part? One hundred percent. Because think about it, right? You think they would be in that same position that... Well, okay, not the position that they're in now because they're both very successful right now, but I'm saying in the sense of with that particular situation, mm. you think they would have had that same end result had they went about it a certain different way? I mean, listen to me. I think I think they could have gone about it a different way, right? Um, I just think that you're also talking about two young people, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah, that, 16, you know, 18, 20, something like that. Who are one... One are millionaires, bro. Are, well, exactly. You're living. You're living a very luxury lifestyle with a lot of attention, with a lot of people yes, don't say no to you. With a lot of yes sayers around you. What? Right. 
And also, it's like, you know, and I don't know this about Chris Brown or Rihanna, right? But you also don't know what upbringing they have of what loved look to them, right? You don't know how, what they thought that was the proper way to, like, love someone, well, Chris right? Chris Brown was growing up, but mm-hmm. his stepdad was fucking up his mom all the time. So, exactly. So, then that's, you know, like, I didn't know that, right? So, like, that's a perfect example, right? Like, you're also talking about somebody who came up in a, in a lifestyle where this was, like, the way that things worked at home, right? Mm-hmm. So, I think that that's also very easy to judge when you don't understand what the mentality of someone who grew up on that is, right? Yeah. Like, whether some people want to admit it or not, kids that grow up in a family where someone is being abused will most likely become abusive because that's what they grew up seeing, right? And not that I'm trying to, like, uh, like uh, come up with the excuses for Chris, but the reality is, is that if those things aren't treated the proper way, going to psychology and going to therapy and all of that stuff, like, bro, you're bound to fail because... In your brain, you think you're correct because this is what you grew up seeing. Yeah. You see what I'm getting at? And, and, this, and this is more than just, like, the physical abuse, right? This is the same mentality with, like, not being ambitious, not being consistent, you know what I mean, not being dedicated. These are all things that maybe don't show out so negative in the world, but these are impact and, and traits that you, you know, you build because of the way that you grew up, right? So Nobody pushed you to do something and shit like that, like... All that shit. You never I, seen your mom trying to do something for herself. Like, she just does go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home. Like, there's nothing, like, your mom never been like, oh, I'm going with my friends or, oh, this and that. Like, you never see that. And then when you grow up, you either become an introvert because all you see your mom is go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home. So what you going to do when you grow up? Go to work, come back home. Right? So th- these are these are just things that I think sometimes it's easy for the public to kind of just be like, don't bat on you. You don't do that. Right? But sometimes it's like, yo, okay, but yes, it's wrong. Yes, you shouldn't do it. But then it's also like, okay, how can we help this person not do it again? Or what? why did this person do it? Like the reasoning behind it, right? Um, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, where we at? We're at 47. Yeah, hey, we, we're about to get the trivia going. But say what you were going to say. Okay, so with what you said and what you said, mm. respectfully. I Every time like this nigga said respect, I know he about to be <laughs> <Nah>. disrespectful. <laughs> That's the motherfucker, me, dog. I ain't going to lie. It's that respectfully come out different, but. What I'm thinking in my head right now, based off what you two said, mm. like, you got to also think about it, though, right? So, if somebody has a general standard in their head, mm. what is the best way to really break that standard in your head? Either one, action. Two, manifestation in the sense that, okay, I'm going to tell myself that this is this and that is that. Or the third one, which is amalgamation of both. You could do kind of a little bit of both to get you to that desired point. But you also, you also yeah, but that's tough though. Right. Because you also got to understand because when a human being is agitated and 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 your emotions are like going crazy, and when you're from the age of fifteen to like twenty five, I'm gonna give it twenty five. Your emotions are always going crazy. If you can't control that, you're gonna get into trouble, bro. That's true. And most and and most men go through that because of testosterone and all this nonsense. This is like a super saiyan level. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why when niggas play basketball and I dunk on you, the first thing I want to do is be like, yeah, nigga. Cause all that adrenaline that I like I literally crossed over your teammate, drove through the lane. Your whole team is driving in to block me and I just went up and dunked on y'all. You know how much adrenaline my body has right there? It, the same shit happens when some bullshit is happening. Why do you think people like nowadays kids just be like, it's something happening. You see, you can see it in videos that niggas get shot at. People are like, oh, she can see. And then out of nowhere, you see one just go, boom, 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 boom. And he don't stop. It just keeps going. And it's not because some, most of the time you're just an evil motherfucker, right? But sometimes it's just like, you're there already. And then just keeps going. You know what I'm saying? Same thing when you stab me. Like, all that shit is, and when, it, when it's like. It's blackouts. When it's young people, it's just like your, your adrenaline is just driving you, and you're just going. And that's when you know, like. Controlling emotions is tough. Like, if, if when you're growing up, if when you're growing up, if when you're growing up, all you hear is like, nigga, I'll kill somebody. Fuck is you talking about? Now I'll smack the shit out of you. Fuck is you talking about? All that, all that energy is inside of you. You could be the comments nigga at your crib. If somebody agitates you, all that information. It's coming out. This is energy. Boom. Oh, I could slam you. Boom. That slam right there could just put you in jail because you popped his head open. Crazy thing is, there was this guy in jail that he's like, yo, over 
over an anger of five minutes, I have to now spend 10 years in jail. Simple. At a club, some kind came up to him, eyed him down, he eyed him back. Guy act up, he cracked the bottle, stabbed the nigga, he died. Five minutes over a stair. Now you're doing 10. You see what I'm getting at? And, and I think sometimes controlling emotions, controlling emotion is so key to everything that we do because sometimes we act, <clears throat> we act out of emotions because this is like, yo, oh, boom. I'm like, you know what I mean? This is a situation, this is what I'm doing. Let's get to it, right? So, like, I think when people learn to control their emotion, it's much easier for you to... And I think that it, it also takes, once again, it also takes a lot of maturity for you to understand where emotionally you're at, right? It takes a lot of your experiences of you it's making the wrong decision and understanding, oh, shit, this was an emotion decision that I made. This is why I ran wrong. So, I'm listen to me. I'm not expecting a 21-year-old to be all sound and yeah. zen out, He's right? He's going to fight. Right? Shit's going to happen. But-, but I think once you start comprehending <laughs> that your emotions are important... In the way that you react and the way that you go about your life, I think things start becoming a little bit more clear and a bit more calmer. Because then you become to situations where you're like, mm, not I'm not it. doing that. Not I'm not going over energy. there. Not worth not my going energy. Over there. I think people more so in the sense of like younger people in terms of how they go about their emotions. It's more so in the sense of you got to think about it, right? Okay. So... Not only is this person a younger person, but then they're also thinking in their head, my emotion is driving me to feel this certain way. That means I have to act this certain way as well. But when in retrospect, your thoughts influence your actions. So if you're able to control how you feel, you're able to control what you're thinking. But a lot of people don't see it that way because majority of the time, I'm mad, I'm going to do that. I'm sad, I'm going to do that. I'm happy, I'm going to do that. But if you were to sit there and think in those three same aspects, what would be the side effect of every action? Then now you start to think into the more mature stage, which is not that is hard for people, but it's more so like, what reason do I have to think that way when I could just think the way of this way? You get me? Yeah, but again, it's 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 all about surroundings, friends, family members, community. It's all about that shit. Because if that's the energy that's around you, it's the energy you're gonna put out. We're going to trivia. All right, let's go to music trivia. Over here. You know how this game goes. Um, I'll explain this. Is your, this is your second question. This is his third question. He got one that's right. A, yeah, yeah. One wrong. One wrong. Mm-hmm. Third question. Mm, prepare the shots. Oh my god. Um, I believe in you. Bro. When you he wish bad, upon a star. Mm, when, upon a star. Say it one more time. Start over. Twinkle ones. When you wish upon a star. Okay. Was sung by. Jimmy Cricket in which Disney film? I'm gonna read the question one more time. Oh my god. When you oh wish upon a god. when you wish upon a star was sung by Jimmy Cricket in which Disney film? Jimmy Cricket or Jimmy D. Cricket? No, Jimmy Cricket. Okay. A Pinocchio. B Lion King. C The Princess and the Frog. He fucking thinking about it. Just oh stir him, bro. Fucking No, bro, like hold on. You said I mean I would I would have got this wrong too. What? Yeah, I would get this wrong too, for sure. You said Pinocchio. You Pin- said Lion King and the Princess and the Frog. The question is the following: When you wish upon a star, when you wish upon a star, was sung by Jimmy Cricket in which Disney film? The fact that he's doing that, and I don't know the answer right oh, now. Oh, I don't know the. I wouldn't have known the answer either. To be okay. honest with you, I'm gonna use deductive reasoning right now. Go right ahead. Okay, Lion King. Did <laughs> can't be right. Do, 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 the first one. Do, 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 Damn, it was the first one. <laughs> Pinocchio, yes, Pinocchio, nigga. Pinocchio. Pinocchio is that nigga that has the cricket with him. And it's the fucking fairy for him. That's the cricket, bro. Bro, come on, man. Listen to me. I'm gonna be honest with you. The only thing I know about Jimmy, Pinocchio, he cricket. The only thing I know about Pinocchio Jimmy. is that he got a long nose. That's all I know about he him. He's made out of wood, and that he's he's, he he's like a plumber, right? Boy. My defense he wants to be a boy so bad, and the cricket is telling him, 
Whatever you wish on a star, you got to do it. When you become a boy, you can't come back. Nigga, Wait, it's the cricket, bro. The, the fact that you remember this thing is kind of weird because I don't even recall anything about Pinocchio. Like, I don't, rec- I don't like, recall that storyline whatsoever. <laughs> when did Pinocchio come out? I don't you know, bro. <laughs> Didn't Pinocchio for Disney come out only one time? I don't know, bro. I just told you. The only thing I know about Pinocchio is he got a long nose and he's mad the That's action. what I know as well. Like, they dropped yeah. the live action. The live action was dope. There was a live action? Of Pinocchio? Mm-hmm. And when that who came the, out? Who the hell? Who made... Who was the actor? Like, I didn't see that movie. You seen that movie? I don't remember that. You seen it? He knew it dropped, though. He's like, I know it dropped, though. I don't know. Jimmy the Crick is See, that I like man. this. I like questions. Questions make me think. Jimmy the Crick is that man. Jimmy the Crick. Yo, cheers for Pinocchio, bro. Yes, sir. That niggas right Yo, here. talking about Pinocchio. What's what's uh give me uh give me a give me a top three um uh Disney movies that that that, that your Disney movies you like. My oh, top three Disney movies. Yeah. <sighs> I wouldn't even know what this, the difference between Disney, Marvel, and all these movies oh are. Oh my but god, what are you talking about? I'm not the best at nah, this. Nah, you can't do that because Marvel is really like that. But we're gonna get into Marvel is Disney right now. So for Disney. Okay, wait. You said- oh, whoa! You, we got a, we got a DC nigga, character no, no, here. No, you, you tell him to give you the keys. Call that nigga an Uber. No, no. no, no. <laughs> you, I'm gonna get to you in a minute. But if you say top three Disney movies, and if it's included, you gotta remove a Marvel. Oh, because right, you know my my three was all gonna be Marvel movies. Okay. Um, the first one would be what's the first Disney movie I seen? Talking to Ryan. I just I asked the question. I don't even know the That's answer. That's a very good question. Okay, Toy Story. Mm. Toy Story is good. I'm going to say Toy Story. All right, that's good. Another Disney movie that's really good would be... All right, you're going to give your top five. Three, right? I'll give it top three. I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> Was High School Musical a, a Disney movie? Yes, it is a Disney movie. High School Musical. Oh, my goodness. You got to you gotta die. You that need and High School die. Musical. Those are my top three. Which one? All High School Musical. Okay, so you would have Sky High. You would have High School Musical. Don't know those two, but keep on going. High School Musical? Troy Boydson? You talking, to, you're talking to the wrong person. I don't, I don't listen you know, to musicals. But look, High School Musical person. was one of those movies. Yeah, I know the movies. I, I've heard of I'm, a High School I'm, Musical. No. I, I, okay, you no. know who Zac Efron is? No. What? If you show me a picture, maybe, but I don't know. Vanessa who. Hudgens? We that sounds familiar. By name, bro. That sounds familiar. We don't too. know actors by name. I don't know. Other I don't, than I don't Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. and um, Denzel Washington. Yeah, that's it. And uh, name another and my guy and my guy. Hold up, hold up. Willard. No, 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 no. The Keanu Reeves. Nah, hey, Adam, Sandler. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. I like Adam Sandler. I know who Adam Sandler is. I know who that is. So y'all know who Keanu Reeves is. That sounds yeah, familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga from from Matrix. From that's bro from Matrix. Who's who? Who? What's the name? Keanu Reeves from from. He played in um. That movie that he got like a hundred with the dog. The white guy with the dog. The white guy. The movie with the dog. What's the name of the movie with the dog? The moon with the dog. No, the Tiana Reeves movie. Don Wick. Now, nah, respectfully, when you said dog, you can't tell me. Yeah, I didn't think Will Smith for like. Hell no. Nah. We know what that the real mean? nigga with the dog is Keanu Reeves, bro. <laughs> nah, John, all right, just, just 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 because you guys are here, I'm just gonna do it. Which is the best dog movie? Yeah, uh, one hundred and one yeah, Dalmatians, bitch. What's the best? <laughs> uh, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. What's okay? Hear me. Hear me out. What's the best movie that has a dog that is like okay? This dog was significant in the movie, and this is why this is the best movie that has a dog with significance. Because like, let's say the I Am Legend. That dog was legendary, right? Everybody's like, oh shit, the dog, the dog, the dog. That's what I was um, thinking when they was. A hundred Dalmatians, obviously, right? So um, a bunch of dogs. What's the uh, What's the other dog movie? Um, uh, Super Dog. Is there a movie called Dogs Go to Heaven? Dogs yeah, Go to Heaven. Yeah, yeah. That's Bro, another that's another good one. Lie, what's that, the what's the one with the two dogs with the with the spaghetti and shit? Yo, that's the movie I was thinking about in my head. I don't know the name of that movie, bro. You know what I'm talking about? You talking about that they kiss and shit cuz the yeah, the string. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Pokémon. What movie is that? I can't remember. Pokémon got dog Pokémon. So. Nah. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop. We're not doing that. Any animal you see in Pokémon is not strictly one animal. It's no way. Think about it, Charmander. If you had to pick what animal Charmander was, what I'm, I'm a lizard. I'm gonna I'm I'm shut you out. I'm gonna shut is you. I'm gonna shut him up. It is only a lizard. It's no What's animal. Meowth? What the fuck is Meowth, nigga? Meowth it's a, a cat, cat nigga. A cat. And it turns into a bigger cat. It's keep being a cat. Yep. Right. Stop playing with me. You're right. You're definitely right. I can't lie. Bulpix. Right. Bulpix. Bulpix is a dog. You don't change nothing. And then Nine Tails is oh, just what? a bigger dog. Yeah, but no, I've never seen that show. 
Yeah. Air Bud. Nah, Air Bud 2. Air Bud 2. Oh, with the dog playing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I've I seen it like passing, on passing. Once again, I just asked questions. I don't, I don't even know answers. I just asked questions. Yes. <laughs> no, no, but you got to give the Disney shits. Go right. ahead. Disney so shits. what's the Disney shit? So for me, it would be um, High School Musical. Then you would have Sky High. Mm-hmm. And then my first one. What did I say for my first one? Whatever movie I said for that first one is really the first one. But I just got to think because there's a lot of high Disney movies out right now. You said Toy Stories. Toy Story. Toy Story got to be the best but one. It's, it's Toy Story a Disney movie? It is a Disney yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I don't know. Pixar. That's Pixar. 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 Toy Story from <sighs> one to three was all good. I'm going to go. I'm going to say my shit. Okay. From Disney, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go Monsters, Inc. <gasps> Bro. Right? Give me a second. Oh, my God. Monsters, Inc. <laughs> I'm gonna go Tarzan the animated movie. Ooh, that's a good one. And then I'm gonna go Tarzan the live action shit. Tarzan is that nigga, okay? Okay. You never seen Tarzan? That is cool, but Tarzan is better. I seen the live action. I seen the live action. I remember that. I do. That was a very good movie. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Wait, but if you can't pick Tarzan twice, what would be your third one? If I can't pick Tarzan twice, what would be my third one? Yeah. Hmm. Uh. This nigga going into the bucket of Disney fucking, movies in his head. A fucking Ant's Life, nigga. Fuck you talk. Yeah, Ant's man. Life. That's is that the movie where like with the ants and the, the life? It's, it's, yeah. yeah, the ants and the life. Oh, I, yeah, that's fire. <laughs> that's it. Uh, I can't come up with What's three yours? to be I can't come up with What's three to What's yours? If I let me see. Oh hmm? my god, I forgot. Aladdin, Aladdin is good Aladdin, too. Bro. Aladdin is good. Aladdin. Little Mermaid is pretty cool. I think that's the best mm, one. That gotta be the best one. Lion King is dope. Tarzan. Yeah, uh, the only one that, well, the lion, I was going to say the Lion King. I like the Lion King a lot. It's because it's the circle of life. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then. Keep the sack. Actually, is um is Big Daddy a Disney movie? I don't think so, right? I don't think mm-hmm. that's, a, that, that's a Disney movie. I think that's, I forgot what's that brand called, but it's not a. Yeah, mm, that might be okay. DreamWorks. Maybe. Um, uh, hmm. Elementals is really good. Yeah, I, I can't come up. I'm not, I'm not really good with this. It came out not too long ago. Yeah. Elementals? Is yeah. that with the fire water? The fire yeah, bitch and the water, too, and the water bitch. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, not too, I'm not too good with movies. Like, I'm very selective. I don't really know, like, actors' Moana's names. Moana is fucking nasty. That's why my list let is so, like, Let it go is fucking nasty. And now when I say let it go, you know what I'm talking about because I don't even have to say the name of that Wait, shit. Wait, no, no, no. What's, what's, the, what's the Colombian one? Uh, Encanto's Enc- crazy. That shit was Encanto tough. Encanto, the one with the with the everybody in the house with the powers. Yeah, that shit was kind of tough. That shit was kind of tough. That's fire. That's fire. It's uh, the uh, what? Diablo, how do you say? I think it was Encanto. No, no, no. There's a Mexican one. El Dia de los Muertos. Oh, El Dia de los Muertos. That shit's tough. Uh, I like that yeah, one with the one with the instrument. Yeah, with the, yeah, with the, the guitar. The little kid that be singing. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was Damn, I forgot the name of that shit. Um, that shit crazy. That's um, nasty. Yeah, but I'm not. But I'm I like not the older. I'm not, the I'm not too good. I'm not too good with like actors and like stuff. Like okay. act, actor wise, like I give you a handful of guys who like who are important to me. Right. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Titanic. Oh, f- a Night's Tale. Titanic. Wait, okay, so yours is Titanic. Yeah. Yours is A Night's Tale with Heath Ledger. Okay, Heath Ledger is a very good actor. I'm not gonna lie. Amazing movie. For me, my favorite movie. I can't really like. I go by genre, but if we're talking of all time. All time, all time nigga. Stop, all time. stop playing with me. I ain't going to lie. For the culture, it got to be Friday, bro. It has to. Bro, what I'm is I'm not crazy about Friday. Friday. Bro, don't come for the culture. Nigga, what's your favorite movie? What's wrong with Friday? The I'm, fuck is your favorite there's movie, nigga? There's nothing wrong for with it. For the culture. I'm just not crazy about it. Why not? Come on, bro. Because I just. It gives you every dynamic. Listen to me. Friday has one memorable moment in my life, mm-hmm. and it's the meme. Damn. That's it. That's okay. it. I, t- I don't I don't recall nothing else from that okay. movie besides that. Okay, so if I have to go, okay, favorite movie of all time. Like I could I could rewrite for you mm-hmm. a nice tale from the beginning to the end. Okay, that's how many times I've watched the movie. What is really my favorite movie of all time? It has to be a Spider Man movie. Which one? I would say Spider Man. Two and why Spider Man? Don't tell me the number. Tell me what happened so that I could figure out which okay. one it is. No, not, so the, not one, the first Spider Man nigga. Okay, the second Spider Man nigga. What happens? Right? What does he do? Who dies? The amazing Spider Man with Gwen. Nah, if we talk about which Spider Man is my favorite, it gotta either be Toby or it gotta be um, no, not Andrew Garfield, bro. Um, both of them. Tom, both Tom them old nigga. Tom Holland is the best. 
Because Tom Holland, respectfully, the best one. No, nigga. respectfully, he you did. Wilding, dog. He did both he parts. Ate that. One, he was a basically Andrew Garfield. He was smart, and on top of that, he was also Tobey Maguire because of how he acted as a Spider Man. So that way, he filled both those dynamics and gave us a third dynamic. And the third dynamic being how his relationship with MJ was. If you really think about it, his relationship with MJ was different from all Toby. At first, she was with Harry, and she was being toxic, and boom, cool. Second one, Andrew Garfield, he kind of lost his Gwen, you feel me? Which was kind of sad, but... And then, Toby. Toby, him, and then, bro. And then, bro did everything he had to do. No, Both did that Tom, Tom is that nigga, bro. Trust, believe, you bro. Gotta be the best if, pay, pay, att- pay attention to all his movies, bro. The dead Why ass. can't jack him? Nah, nigga, you just stuck back then. Like he he be scared sometimes. If you if you if you look at Spider Man the cart like go go back go back to Spider Man the animated series. Watch that. Watch that. Wait, wait, which animated series? Nigga, the one the one from the nineties. Watch that. No, 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 no. The animated series. The one where they where they popped out the three Spider Mans. That one. Watch that. That nigga be scared sometimes. Yeah. That nigga be losing sometimes. That nigga like, God damn, I can't beat this nigga. That's what's going on with, with Tom Holland's Spider Man. Yeah. That nigga be scared. That nigga be scared for his friends. That nigga be scared for his family. That nigga be scared when 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 his do you everybody saw every movie, right? Yes, sir. I'm not gonna spoil anything. Yes, sir. When when he when his aunt dies, bro, you can feel this nigga's like, yo, my world is done. This nigga was ready to kill niggas. That's facts. And 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 the the nigga from the second version of Spider Man was like, bro, I went that route, bro. You don't want to go down that route, my guy. But respectfully, you don't want to do that, baby. Without those two Spider Mans, I don't think Tom would have ended up how he ended up. In. Because look, one thing about Spider Man in sense of movie, like you could, like generally speaking, you can connect him to a regular person. Why? Think about it. Right? It's a high school student. He got powers. You feel me? He helping people. So now, in a high school student head, you got one of three things. Either, how can I have fun? How can I do something to be different? And also, how can I do something that I'm not hated? Right? Spider-Man, in this sense of, okay, J. Jones, uh, what's his name? J. Jonah Jameson? He he don't like Spider-Man. I don't know what reason what he got against Spider-Man. He don't like Spider-Man. But think about it. Spider-Man doing all these things. He helping people. He bettering people's lives. He's saving people. I feel like Spider-Man resonates to me in the sense of him being a hero, but me as an artist in the sense of that same aspect. Like, for the people, my music should be able to help. I feel you. You get me? I see it. Or my music should be able to bring awareness to certain areas that people don't really look at. You get me? I feel so you feel me? Spider-Man, like, Peter Parker was a human and a hero at the same time. Peter Parker was that. I just think, going back to the, the discussion of which one is the best Spider-Man, I just think Tom Holland's Spider-Man is more complex than every other Spider-Man. Okay. In enough uh, enough of the Spider-Man talk. No, no, no. They redid the whole shit. It wasn't even nothing the same, but I got you, I got you. Um... OAP, uh, what music got coming out? What's new? Well, um, okay, so I've dropped G.O.D., you know, and I'm in the works of the video for that, and, you know, that's going to come out soon. But I Why got, G.O.D.? Well, I mean, G.O.D. hit... A lot of music. Oh, G.O.D. Me. hit on several levels in the sense that G.O.D. hit on because, like, in that specific song, I'm more so speaking of how my upbringing led to how my mindset is now and what I want to accomplish now. In the sense of what music I'm dropping, I mean, I let my versatility more so speak for itself. So in the sense of how I feel that the music should be dropped in in, in accordance to G.O.D. or with G.O.D., that's how I'm dropping them. So I got a song named Visions where it's more so me speaking more about the vibe of life as opposed to where G.O.D. I was talking about 
where my life brought me to. After you know where your life brought you to, you got to understand what's that current vibe of that life, right? Mm. So I took that into perspective of music and I, you know, and then I got another song where it's like motivation purposes. Because, you know, we don't know how many people really need no motivation to do what they want to do. Because a lot of people, they won't take that executive step to do something unless you say something. You feel me? Okay, I made a song for that. So all what? my songs are picked in what effect can they have towards the people. When are, when are you dropping the other songs? I know you already have J- well, uh, J-O-D um, out, but... Two weeks from now, I got Visions coming out. In a week and a half from now, I got another song coming out, which is the song that I just made, which is called Premise. And then I got uh, Motivation, which is the song that I said was motivation purposes, you know. But each song, I feel like, got its own vibe, which pertains to the fans in a certain sense. So, like, you know, I've just been, been patient with it because, you know, it's kind of, as an artist... You got to really selectively pick out how you want to do everything to fit a certain, mm. you know? And I know my fans got a demand, so, like, you know, I'm going to pay attention to fans. I'm going I'm to meet their demand. And right now, it's sounding like, you know, they want more heartfelt stuff, so I'm going to give them the heartfelt that they want. So. Cool, 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 cool. Dope, 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 dope. Good to hear. All right. Um, an hour 11. An hour 11? Back, oh. back to trivia. Back to trivia. All right. Back to trivia. <clears throat> this is either this the. This might be the end. All right. Oof. Oh my God. That's a hard question. No, it's not. It's man. not hard, no, but it's it's, it's like it's a medium. Fuck this up, bro. It's a medium. Don't song. follow it's him on Instagram. Wait, hold on. I you can't do that because respectfully, <clears throat> I I've been really focused on music. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah, all yeah. about music. It's yeah, but music. Nah, nah but this, this, this is this is this is. <laughs> if there's a song for you to get right, no, play, it's this one. Okay, right? playing this game though. Mm-hmm. What you already did that you didn't know. Mm-hmm. The next time y'all may see me, these questions for me is not gonna go this way. I'm, I'm gonna go. F- I'm, how, how many questions? Three. This I'm gonna three. go three for three next time. No, 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 no it's not three it's for three. Three lives. Three lives. You could go the most song that twenty got, for twenty. Yeah. yeah, the most uh, the most correct answer that we've had is ten. Right, not so correct. Go the most 11? correct answer we had is seven. Seven, seven, seven. S- seven. seven, seven, seven. So then I'm gonna go for ten. You got one go over 10. All right, cool, sure. If you're going to go for 10, just try to get this one first. I bet. Which Mark Ranson and Bruno Mars track spent 14 weeks on top of the billboards, mm. Hot 100, mm-hmm. in 2015? A, Uptown Funk. Mm. B, uh, 24 Carat Magic. 24 Carat Magic. Or C, Marry You. Damn. Fuck. It gotta be. He can help him, bro. Okay, 24 carat. I don't remember what year. But you can help him. You can help him. 24 carat. Okay. No, 24 A, Uptown Funk. B, 20, uh, 24 24 24 carat magic. Funk. I don't remember what year that came out in. C, marry you. Uptown. Funk you up. Uptown. Funk you up. And then 24 carat. And then marry you. Yeah. You're also drinking. You could help him. Wait, marry you? That came out mad early, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, bro. Marry you. How's it I go? How's it go? How's it go? Some, like, you said something, like, something marry like, you. It's like, um, I don't remember the lyrics, but I know it's like, uh, marry you. Uh, something like that. But... 24 karat, I've heard that. And then the first one. That's a good. I think B. It got to be B. B. 24 24 karat magic. Final answer. This nigga singing a song. It's it's 24 karat. It got to be 24 How's it go? How's it go? Is that that one? I don't don't know. I don't don't know. I don't know any songs. Okay, name the songs. A of Town Funk. B, 24 Uptown, Carat Magic. Uptown, C, Uptown, Marry You. Marry You. It's 24 Carat, bro. It so, gotta be, bro. It's 24 Carat, your final answer? It gotta be my final answer, bro. Locked in? Locked in? Locked in bro. Look at your cousin face. Locked in? All right. Nah, he said locked in already. He said locked bro, in already. I think it's 24 Carat because Marry You came out in like... I don't know. Locked in, yes or no? 
Yeah. Locked in. Look at the camera. Look at the camera and say it one more time. Locked in. All right. Serve them up. Serve them up. You pouring my shot? For yeah, sure, bro. Come down. on. Uptown Funk. It was up. Uptown, fuck you up. Uptown, fuck you up. Hey, uptown, fuck you up. Uptown, fuck you up. Hey, there's no way, bro. I gotta look that up. 2015. A year or two, bro. Yeah, that shit. That shit was buzzing. The camera right there. Just let him know. Let him know where to follow you at. Just let him know where to follow you at. Let him know where to follow you at. All right, yo, follow your boy at AP the only one. You feel me? Go bump God. He only got one. Nah, that's right now. That's right now. He only got one year. Hey, guys. <laughs> By the time y'all see this. Yeah, like I said, we're done. Podcast is over. By the time y'all see this, another one. Once you out. die three times, podcast is done, baby. Done, though. Yo. D- damn, really? Close Uptown? Close you close did, close I thought you were going to get that one. Nah, you know why I didn't say Uptown? Close, close, close. Yo. I thought that came out in 2014. Yo, toast for his music to Yo, um, toast to your music for keep sure. going up. Uh, for all the work that we putting in, this thing got already drink the shit, motherfucker. I don't blame, I don't blame um, him. And yeah, keep on moving moves. You already know. Yes, sir. <laughs> Give your socials the correct way, bro. One more time in the mic. <laughs> um, again, you feel me? If you ain't hear me before, you feel me? My name's AP, the only one, you know. Go listen to G.O.D. We got more coming out. Stay tuned. You know, support these two young brothers right here. You know, they're doing their thing. They're going crazy. So respectfully, we're going, we're going, we're going to give them a hand of applause. You feel me? Yes, sir. You already know we had AP here at the stool. The cousin was out here in the cut. You really don't see him. You might see his hands here and there. <laughs> you might see a hookah freaking manguera just this just out to here. The side. This out here somewhere. It's your boy, Chris Films. Oh, yeah, Light and Negro's Party. Yes, the way. Salud oscuro. TV. Peace. Yeah!